Great leaders, let us, let us see if we can solve the quadratic equation given to us in the previous class and we ask to factorize or to find the values of x using factorization method. I've not received answers from some of you, so I should quickly solve it on the board as a way of trying to re-explain the teaching of factorization method. Then I can now give you problems to deal with. Then in our next class, we shall be looking at uh, our binary numbers or base numbers could also be seen in quadratic problems. Let us solve the problem given to us in the previous class. How to solve 4x squared minus 7x minus 15 is equal to 0. We have to solve that using the factorization method. We have to solve that using factorization method. Solution. The steps involved, step one, multiply the first and the last term. Multiply first and last terms. You don't need to write this if you're solving your YC or your advanced exams or any external exams you're solving and you have this problem given this type. You don't need to be writing this. I am doing this because I wanted to understand this method properly that is why i'm doing what i'm doing you ought not to do this you know the idea or the concept behind it the first thing is what multiply the first and the last thing and if i do that i'll have 4s square times minus 15 that will give us minus 60 s square step two find factors factors quickly i'll get my factors i have minus 12x and uh, 5x minus 12x and 5x are the two factors of minus 60 but if you add them up you have minus 7x and that is true minus 12x times 5x is minus 60x squared and if you add minus 12x plus 5x you will get minus 7x those, those of you that are still finding difficult to deal with Using of uses of integers or negative numbers, you're giving out 12 and you have 5x. You're giving out 12x and you have 5x. If you give out the 5x to the person who is supposed to receive the 12x from you, you still have 7x to give to the person. And because the 7x is not yours, so your answer is minus 7x. Note that. So quickly, the next step, replace the middle value or the middle term by these two factors that gave us that same answer. So I we'll have replace. So I have 4x squared minus 12x plus 5x minus 15 is equal to 0. Now, group them. I have 4x squared minus 12x, then 5x minus 15 is equal to 0. That is grouping. What is common in the first, bra in the first bracket? Something is common. Pick up the common values. 4x is common, you have 4x out, open the bracket, x minus 3. 4 into 4 is gone, x into x squared is left with 1x. x will cancel x, and x in 12 is 3. Note that, please. The next bracket one is common, 5 is common, that is plus 5. Plus 5 is common. Plus 5 into that, will be up. you have x left, plus 5 into minus 15 is minus 3. Is equal to zero. You, you see that the, the first the first bracket and the second brackets are the same in this case. Now bring out the number that are out of the bracket, put them in a new bracket. You have six. That is the next step. You have four x plus five in the new bracket, and then x minus three is equal to zero. Then we cannot apply our a b is equal to zero principle here. We are for you can now see where this principle is applied. This principle is applied here. At this point, that is the reason why I need to teach you the principle to help you deal with problems of this type if you're solving quadratic problems using the factorization method. So right now we have A as that. We have 4x plus 5 is equal to 0, which implies that 4x will be equal to minus 5. 
then x alone will be minus 5 all over 4. If we divide both sides by 4, that is the result. Then the b, we have x minus 3 is equal to 0, where x alone is equal to 3. Therefore, the values of x are minus 5 over 4 or plus 3. These are the two numbers that are the values for the roots of x. So that we have the problem given. So those of you that not solve the problem, these are your answers. Always follow the steps. The steps are multiply the first and the last term, get your result, find the factors of that result you have, such that if you add up those two factors, you have the middle term. If you've got these such factors, then replace the middle term by the two factors you, you've gotten at last. If you do that, then group them, put them in groups of two, then try to find out the common factors in each of the group or the brackets you have, then put out the numbers that you have out of the brackets in a new bracket. Since the other two brackets will certainly be the same, use one of them to multiply the first bracket, then apply the principle, which is A, B is equal to zero principle, and you end up having the right answer. Now, please, you carefully do this and forward your answer to me. Factorize the following. Factorize the following. Number one is uh, x squared plus 2x and 24 is equal to 0. Number two is 4x squared minus 9x plus 5 is equal to 0. So carefully solve this and ensure you get the answer for all your answers to me. I wish you well in your studies. Ensure you you remain studious and make mommy daddy and the school proud. Thank you.